you guys. Um, first of all, truly sorry for my English, it's not the best, but I'm going to try to do my best to just make everything clear, okay? So let's start, uh, well, with the main purpose of this tutorial is to help you to understand how script works. So I know that in triggers, uh, sometimes you, you can do a lot of things, and it's for you guys, sometimes it's very hard to understand how scripts work. So we are going to start with the basics, and with the very, very basic things that you can do in, in triggers, okay? So it, the first process is going to be to make just a, a credits for your map. As you have seen in a lot of my maps, I place credits at the beginning. That means that all players can know all the information that you want to know and you want to have uh, for them, okay? So uh, my first advice before to start is please use a PC or a laptop. And please never use like a cell phone because it's going to be really, 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 really hard. And in that case, I advise you to use triggers. Also, remember that you can use our editor, that the one that comes with Mini, but also you can use an external editor. And now this the, the script editor from Mini Word, it's pretty simple to use and has a lot of features, but um, well, sometimes the game just can crash and you, all your, your safe information is going to be loose. So in that, that way, I highly advise you to use an external editor, but it's on you guys, okay? To create a script, it's very simple. You have to be in creative mode. Once you are in a creative mode, mode, I just switch um, the next button and tap on the button that you are going to find on the top right corner. Is this one. It's like a map with a pencil. You tap on it and you are going to find a lot of options that you can use to set up your map. But the only thing that you have to do is to switch to script. So remember, we have triggers here and also we have scripts here. And the way that you can use it is pretty simple. To create a new script, you have to create or have a script set. Mm. What is a script set? Well, it's just a group. It's like a folder in your PC or your or your cell phone that allows you to have uh, some kind of files inside, okay? So for this case, I'm going to create a new one. I'm going to rename it, and I'm going to place tutorial. And that's it, guys. You have your free script set setting up. As you see, this script set does not have anything inside, so we are going to create the first one. And as soon as you create the script, you're going to see this. This is like basic scripts that are made by MiniWord. We are not going to use this right now, so we're just going to erase this. To start, uh, we are going to save it just a blank script, and we are going to set up the name. It's very important for me just to have a name for each script, because right now it's pretty easy to remember. But what happens when you have a lot of scripts, you are going to be a little mess around. So the best advice to keep the order is just to save it. The script name, a small description in one word that can uh, just uh, show you all the situation that you need uh, to remember about this one, okay? So I'm going to place only hello world because that's what we are going to do. Remember that it's just a name. This is not going to affect anything in the script. Before we continue, and you, now that I already show you how to create the first script, that actually is not going to do nothing right now, I'm going to show you a small difference between scripts and triggers. So in triggers, they are composed by three different things, an event, and condition, and an action. Right? Um, well, in scripts, it's a little bit different. You're not going to have like a static event or condition or action. You're going to just have more flexibility, but also you have to be very careful because right here you have everything pre-made. In uh, well, sometimes you can mess around, but uh, everything is pre-made, okay? So in scripts, a uh, just a simple error can just make your your word your system does uh, don't work. So you have to be very careful, okay? you have to know that the scripts use Lua. Lua is a programming language and that actually is available for a lot a lot of platforms and it's a little bit pretty simple to use. So if you didn't know anything about Lua, I advise you to just to access to a manual. You can find a lot. The only thing that you have to do is to Google it. And you're going to, to see a lot of content. Even in the internet, you're going to see like um, tutorials about how to use Lua, okay? But I'm going to go straight to the point and I'm going to show you how to start to use your first uh, script. As you've seen in, in triggers, you use an event. Here we have something similar, okay? Imagine that at the trigger is everything here. Well, we have to create the same, just a trigger that has events, condition, and actions. We are going to create something similar, and that's called a function. A function is like that script and how you are going to make it. It's pretty simple. The only thing that you have to do is to choose a name. So in this case, I'm going to use hello world. All right. So. After that, you have to use the symbol equals, and you have to type this word. It has to be the same way that I'm doing using lowercase. All right, as you see, um, when you're using the Lua per sorry, the script version in PC, you're going to see like a predictive test that is going to show you the, the functions and everything like you see right here that allows me to see function. Well, let's going to use that. 
that's it's uh, actually an advantage to edit here on PC. This is like a de de declaring or saying to the computer that you are going to create a script. It has to have a start and, a f and an end. Just to let the computer know that you already finished creating this script, you have to place the word end. As you see, it's going to be highlighted in blue. That means that this is going to be connected. If you didn't place anything after this, sorry, after this one, if you didn't close this, it's not going to work. So it's very important. The name, the word function, and at the end, end. So that means that we are creating the same thing that is here, a trigger, okay? That is going to contain inside the event, the conditions, and the action. So we need to note at first a, what, what we are going to use, the order that we are going to give, like, here on, on triggers, you have some actions, right? Like, for example, create a block. It's going to show like this. So we need to create the same. How how the hell I get that? Well, it's pretty simple. You have a, like, a manual or instructions having all the information that you need. The only thing that you have to do is just go to the right, and you're going to see a, a green button that is wiki. You tap on it, and you are going to see a lot of options. But the only thing that you have to do is to just tap on mini words uh, APE, and you're going to see all the actions, all the different setups that we can do for, for everything, okay? So for this case, what we are going to do is pretty simple. Just send a text that says hello world. As you see here, you are going to see like the, the main categories that you can use. In which case, we are going to use the chat. So that means that we are going to send that message. All right, you're going to see the options here, okay? So as you see, we are open all the options here. Also, we will have a quick link here. And yep, yeah, it's going to show you first what is the name or the main of the function, and also what it's going to do. As you see, what we are going to do is to send a chat. So the pretty simple information that we got here is that we are going to send a, a chat to all players. You are going to see also in some of them an explanation about like specifically what is going to do or some parameters that are going to be set up by default. So you are going to say, well, but how do I send the chat? Well, it's pretty simple. You, you just click on it and it's going to give you all the information, okay? Sometimes this is very tricky to read. Uh, we are going to just switch and do first uh, to send the chat. So as you see in the black box, you're going to see a text. Don't worry for it, just copy this part, the part after the equals, right? You copy and paste it. So it's pretty simple. This function has a name. It's what you have to write and also have like two different things that you can do with it. This is like just the same that you are going to see here. Fruit is going to be the first parameter and event position the second one and facing the third one. So this is the exact same thing. The difference is just that you have to type on it. So content is going to be the text that is going to be sent and target is going to be which player is going to send that text or to which player is going to be sent it. If you want more information, as you see here, you're going to see that information just right here on the wiki. But as I explained, it's, it's, uh, sometimes it's a, a little bit difficult to understand. So my advice is just to, to, to find the best explain and experiment. Just try and try until you find it. Content here is going to be a string. A string means that it's going to be a word. And target UNA is going to be a number. And here says that z to send all the players that has it, this target you need. But if we want to send to all of them, you, we only have to choose zero. But we want everyone to read the message, so we use zero here. And this one, okay? So for this one, it's pretty tricky. If you just place, like, for example, hello, word, it's not going to work, okay? So because it's a string. What is a string? A string is a word, a variable uh, that is used here on, on mini word. We need adjust to do this uh, to make it be a real word. So we have to place this symbol at the beginning and in the end, as you see, it's going to be highlighted as green. That means that it's going to be transformed in a string. That means in a word, the computer is just to read it as a word. But let me show you something. If we save this, it's not going to do anything. As you see, we don't have any information here about uh, something that says hello world, okay? And why this is happening? The problem is that we didn't create an event, something that, you know, just start the process. So normally in triggers, you are going to see the event right here. So for example, when a player attacks someone, you can just ask that uh, when the players attack someone, it uh, just spawn an item or something like that. Well, we need to do the same thing. And what happens? How we can know that the players are entering into the game? Well, we can do just in two, two different things. We can just uh, search for something that just start the process to, to start this function when the game starts or when the player enters to the game, okay? So we are going to do very quickly that, uh, just showing the players well, the message at the beginning of the game, okay? For this, it's very simple. We have an option here inside mini words. The only thing that we have to do is to just go to event system event 
And right here, you are going to see an explanation about how it works. Well, it's pretty simple. Just copy and paste, okay? Just copy any of those. That is going to be the exact keyword that we have to use just to make players run the game. So we never have to touch this part. The only thing that we are going to move is this word that is inside the brackets, the square brackets, and also this one, okay? Um, the first thing that we need to do is to just use this line. This line is going to tell this script, this function, to do this, or it's going to be just doing when this happening, okay? The first thing that we need to do is to just set up this as the exact name that our function is. That is all this script, okay? So we are going to use hello world right here. Just copy and paste it. And yep, with that, we are going to just uh, keep everything working. Right now, if I just save it like it is, what it's going to do is just to send each second the same text message. Why? Because we have game RAM here. Game RAM here is an event that is going to, sh to just work each time, each second of the game, okay? How you can find what it, the system does, just tap on event system and scroll down. And here you are going to see a lot of events and you are going to see what it does. So for example, this one that is game run is going to show when the game is running. That means each time. So just let me show what it's going to do. And as you see here, it's going to show you hello world, hello world, hello world each time. It's pretty simple just to leave it like we want it. The only thing that we have to do is to come back in and just change this one, this word, for the event that we want to do. Go ahead and go again to mini words IPA and then event system and just copy the word. So as we want it just to do it at the game start, we copy this one. That is going to show you game start, all right? So we, the only thing that we do is to just to replace this. We save it and... Voila! As you see, it's just only going to show you us one time after we restart the game. To make this clearer, I'm going to just leave the game and start the game again. Alright, as you see, as soon as we start the game, it says hello world. So, our first script has been finished, okay?